Hi folks, welcome to the last episode here of this sheet metal project. As you saw in the last video, I uh, fit, ended up with sheets shaped like such. I had uh, sheared them to length, I cut out the corner notches, and then I'd use my punch to punch the holes. I've now painted each one and let them dry for a couple of days, so the final step here is going to be using my Diacro 12 inch finger gauge to bend this sheet into a box. A couple of notes here. You'll see I've, um, uh, I've, I'm actually missing one finger in the break here. That's intentional. Uh, the reason I've done that is, and I'll move the camera over here to show you, is uh, in order to leave some room on the edges of the of the piece since I'm bending a 12 inch, um, uh, making a 12 inch bend in the length wise piece. You'll see that if I had all 12 pieces in here, it would scratch the sides of my workpiece. So I leave those out for that purpose. I've got my uh, gauge set here, which results in the correct stop gauge distance to end up with a 90 degree bend. Obviously with any type of metal, there's a little bit of spring, so you actually need to be bend slightly beyond 90 degrees, which I'll also show you is one limitation making a three inch box with this uh, finger break, the actual box depth is three inches, but that means the last two bends, you can't actually get uh, sufficient bend, say so you need say 95 degrees or so, and you can only get 90, so I have to finish the last little bit by hand. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, the last thing I wanted to do is just show you that since I painted these first before I bend them, I would use a paper towel uh, over the cut when I bend it just to protect the finish from the fingers. Um, that's simply because I used a uh, home-based paint, uh, as you can see right here, it's Benjamin Moore um, uh, semi-gloss finish acrylic paint with a applied with a roller. The probably the better way to do this, or the most ideal way, would be after their, the boxes are already bent to then um, either spray paint it, and you can even put that Benjamin Moore type paint into a home aerosol system, um, or you could either powder coat it yourself or have it sent out to be powder coated. Powder coating being by far the strongest finish and, and frankly the nicest looking type finish. Um, but this is what I had to do with or deal with here at my home shop, so should do the trick. So let's go ahead. I have to start here with the six inch uh, bend. Like I said, this is six, this is 12 inch. Uh, one sort of shortcoming of these style finger breaks is that although you can do a 12 inch bend, you can't actually do a 12 inch bend if there's any material on the side here that's sticking out. So that requires you to start with the uh, six inch. Like I said, I just take a regular old paper towel, set it over there. I've already adjusted. Um, one of the nice things about these backers, it's much, um, makes it a much superior machine than the Grizzlies. You've got these two screws here, which are nice uh, fine adjustments for your workpiece height. So I come in here and I'm just eyeballing it. Uh, to get it pretty close, lock down my piece at the stop gauge. Just be careful taking it out, and then just tug the paper towel right out of there. And there's our first angle. I'll go ahead and do that on the second one. And now I'll switch to my bigger paper towel to do the sides. Now if you mention, you'll see here, after I align this, so sorry, what I was saying is that I've aligned this so you'll see that when I make the bend, this uh, sidewall, which I've already bent up, won't be scratched by the first finger or the side of the break, and the same goes for that side. You know, it doesn't hurt it to have the uh, small gaps there in the middle. So that's the maximum I can bend this side. As you can see, the uh, three-inch height sides here are hitting the back wall. The break.
break, and you'll notice when I take this out, you'll notice that it's not quite perfect. Uh, for my purposes, that's okay. I can finish this by hand by just bending it over because this is only 050 aluminum, but for some folks that certainly might not be adequate. Um, the only solution, really, if you're using this style brake, is simply to have a shorter uh, depth of box. Like I said, the max depth is 3 inches, and that's what I'm using. I imagine anything shorter, you know, even 2 and 7 eighths, would probably be okay. And the last thing. There we go. There is our box. Like I said, just a few uh, minutes by tweaking the corners by hand. Actually, this one's really not even that bad, and we're good.